Hello guys, welcome to Geology Concepts. So in this video, I'm going to discuss this question in front of you. This is a question from uh, IT Jam 2020. And it's a map question as you can see here. So basically we'll uh, and try to analyze this map in detail. These, uh, these dotted lines are the elevation contours. And these black continuous lines are the bedding planes. So this is a contact between bed O and another bed which is not marked here, maybe P. Okay. Uh, then there is a coal seam. Okay, this black thick line is the coal seam. Okay, it's marked here. Then there is bed N and bed M. And these lines are the contact between these beds. So as we can see here, the topography. If we try to uh, see the topography, this is a ridge or a simple hill which is sloping in the north direction okay. and if we construct the strike lines or the stratum contours for these contacts we can see that for this O and P contact this is the 100 meter stratum contour this is 200 meter stratum contour okay. from this we can understand that this is a 100 meter strike line this is a 200 meter strike line that means that the bed is dipping the bed is also dipping towards the north direction okay so let's see the question what it is asking it's saying that a coal seam occurs in a stratigraphic sequence as shown in the figure just we can see that if a vertical borehole is drilled at location b the coal seam will be intersected at a depth in meters off okay so this is point b and we have to uh, drill a vertical borehole and it is uh, asking at what depth will this uh, vertical borehole will intersect the coal seam okay so obviously this coal seam has to be uh, below this contact okay. so uh, for this we will uh, construct the strike lines for this coal seam and this bedding contact this bedding plane or which is between M and N. M and N. Okay, so first we'll con uh, we'll construct the strike line for this coal seam, which is this 400 meter strike line. Okay. This is the 400 meter strike line for this coal seam. Okay. And let me change the color and uh, construct another strike line which is for M and N contact. So this is the strike line for M and N contact which is 500 meter contour, the stratum contour. So you can see that, that here it is intersecting the 500 meter contact and this 400 meter uh, stratum contour is here where this 400, eleva 400 meter elevation contour is intersecting this coal seam. Okay. So from here we can see that uh, this 500 meter elevation, uh, I mean, stratum contour for this M and N contact is coinciding with this stratum contour or the uh, strike line for this 400 meter elevation, I mean, stratum contour for this coal seam. Okay. This means that the situation here is this. So I've constructed this uh, profile section and we can see that all the beds are dipping towards the north direction okay so this this will be the north direction as we have seen in the map so the slope of the ground which is shown in this green color is also in the north direction and the dip of the bed is also in the north direction okay and this is the bed o okay this is the coal seam then this bed n and M. So O exposed in the direction of the slope. So as you can see here that in the north direction, first there is bed O, then there is coal seam, then N, then M. Okay. So let's just compare it with this. So the situation is this that this is a height of 500 meters. And this is the contact 
between bed N and M. Okay. So if I construct the strike line for this uh, this M and N contact, it will be something like this. Okay, this is a 500 meter strike line. Okay. And we have seen that the 400 meter strike line for this coal seam was just I mean, was coinciding with the, this 500 meter uh, stratum contour. So this is the 400 meter strike line for this coal seam. Okay. So as you can see here, it is just below. It is just below the 500 meter stratum contour. Okay. So in the map view, in the map view, if you uh, if you see, the map view is uh, the top view of uh, of the topography. So, in the map, these two lines, okay, before I, I had uh, drawn this with the red color, okay. So, I mean, if you view it in the map, these two lines will be just coinciding, just like in this map, as you can see here. Okay. But actually, what is, uh, what is the case that this 500 meter is at a height of 500 meter obviously and this 400 meter stratum contour is at a height of 400 meters. Okay, so if you construct a vertical borehole at point B, okay, this vertical borehole will intersect this coal seam at a height of 500 meter minus 400 meters which is 100 meters. So I hope uh, this was uh, clear and uh, there is one more diagram which I have uh, drawn to make it simpler. This is a block diagram and as you can see here, this is the bed, uh, this is the bedding plane between M and N, this is the coal seam and this was the actual surface which I have drawn here just to show and you can see that if you draw if if you drill a vertical borehole at this point at this 500 meter point it, this vertical borehole is shown in this red line red vertical line will intersect the coal seam just 100 meters below so this is a height of 100 meters so if you construct a vertical borehole here uh, I mean, if you go 100 meters deep, you will find this coal seam and intersect. So I hope this was, uh, this question was clear. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comment box. And uh, if you like the video, you can share it with your friends. And if you want to be a part of our live classes, uh, all the details are given in the description below. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel. So, thank you so much. See you in my next video.